You know, there's an old common saying that goes, actions speak louder than words. And believe it or not, I'm just getting that. That saying resonates with me more now than it ever has before. And I live my life by that saying now. It's that saying that has helped me learn the appropriate way to deal with people. I treat people based off of how they treat me, actions, not based off of what they tell me. It took me a long time to get that, but I've got it. Like I said in the video that I did the other day, I don't trust motherfuckers. I don't respect motherfuckers. I don't like motherfuckers. I don't like people. I'm a very hateful and cynical motherfucker. And the hate and disdain that I have for people, trust me, it is not unwarranted. I'm gonna tell you why I don't treat people based off of what they tell me. You gotta prove yourself to me, motherfucker. You gotta show me that you are worthy of dealing with a reliable motherfucker like me, a supportive motherfucker like me, a loving individual like me. You gotta prove that you're worthy of Jarnell being in your life. Cause Jarnell was a special person and a great friend to have. And you gotta prove yourself that you're worthy of receiving all these goods and benefits. Because I got this mentality now where I feel like I am truly a blessing in anybody's life. I am one of a kind. Because the fact of the matter is every average day people, most people are fucked up. And I want to encourage you guys to treat people based off the way they treat you. Don't don't fall for the sales pitch. Don't let somebody, you know, bribe you out of your money. Tell you, oh, this car is this and this car is that. And this car has all these nice features and functions. Do your research first. Ask them if you can go for a test drive in that car first before you fucking buy it. Don't fall for the oop de doop because that's what I did. Fall, fell for a lot of bullshit. You know, you got some great actors out here, man. You got people who know how to play the part. They are opportunists. And they live to get over on people, to take advantage of people, to deceive people, lie, and, you know, just live a life full of deception. They can't be trusted. And they'll tell you anything to get what they want to get out of you. Whether that be sex, money, friendship, whatever. They'll tell you anything you want to hear. <laughs> Listen, man. This is why you can't trust people. If you can give someone all the love and support that I've given them, put your life on the line for them, risk so many opportunities and things for them make sacrifices for them help them financially take them into your home provide them with shelter love support and, and be a reliable person in their life that they can rely on and come to 
stand by that side through thick and thin, walk through the fire with them, and they still fuck you over and stab you in the back and turn their back on you when you need them? How can you do this to me? time I think about it, it drives me crazy how a person can turn their back on somebody that did so much for them, that was there for them, that loved them, that that went through hell and back to be there for them. How can you hurt that person? The person that gave you everything. Never told you no. Always said yes. No matter what it was. If they had to get up out the bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, they would do anything for you because they truly loved you. Showed you nothing less than love. Pure, genuine, unconditional love. How can you turn your back on them? And that's why I don't trust motherfuckers. Because if a motherfucker can hurt the person that feeds them and bite the hand that feeds them and stab the person in that back that loved them and that risked their life for them, how can you trust people? If you can't even trust that motherfucker... I Then when you need them, where are they? You know the friends that say that they're friends, but when you're down, there's no one around to pick you up. Everybody's suddenly busy, preoccupied with other things that they feel is more important than you. Where are they at? Why is that... I'm sure a lot of you can agree with this that most times in your life when you are at your lowest points aren't those usually the darkest times in your life when you're at your lowest points? Well you may be saying yeah Jay no listen to what I'm saying darkest as in loneliest you know there ain't nobody around but the moment that everything is going well and you financially stable, everybody got their hand out, everybody wants something, everybody want to be your best friend, everybody want to love you, everybody want to treat you right. You know, people are so stupid that they don't even try to fake the funk. Like, they don't even know how to fake the funk. Some people are terrible actors. Some people are good actors, but you got some other ones that are terrible. Because I've had people that come in my life, when they do, I got money, they'll show up and then... Suddenly, when I don't have money, they'll go away. And it's like, bro, you can't see that I'm just... I, you can't see that I can see that you're just in my life when I'm doing well. Like, you ever get to the point where somebody called you know it's for something? Because they never called you any other time? Except for when they need you to support them? Or except for when they need something from you? That's why I have this mentality now, man, where it's like, you got to prove yourself to me. Because I, I used to have a sweet heart, and I would do for people and love people who didn't deserve my love, who didn't deserve respect. People who were not trustworthy. People who are fake, fraudulent, treacherous, specious, these individuals. And I would just put it all out on the table. Hair. You need this hair. I'm there for you hair. You need help hair. You want this hair. You need a little money hair. Because I just had such a giving spirit. I always wanted to help people. Wanted to look out for people, wanted to be there. But then as time went on, I began to see that this person is not the person I thought they was. They're opportunists. They're not my friend. They just here to use me. 
they want to take advantage of me. They don't love me. They love what I can do for them. If they don't love me, they love the position that I'm in. They don't love me. They love what I can offer them. What I bring to the table. But you remove everything that they like in me, and then they no longer love me. It's not about me. It's about them. And it took me a while to see that. But I see it ever so clear now. I can see a user from a mile away now. That's why I thank God that I've dealt with these kind of people. I don't regret any of the experiences that I had because it's made me a wiser and more alert person, a more vigilant person. Can't get over me. You can't you can't run one a quick one by me no more. I pick that shit up like this. Maybe fuck up my face. I'm just such a cold blooded person now. I'm not cold blooded. Let me put it like that. I'm just I'm not loving and giving. Like you you gotta kinda show me that you're worthy of my love for me to do anything for you. I don't care if it's fifty cent. Don't ask me for a fucking dime. I ain't giving you shit. I'ma let you know from the jump. We're gonna establish from the jump, from the get go, that you ain't fucking using me. I ain't giving you shit. You look out for yourself, I look out for me. Self preservation. I'm only out for my helping myself. Jar motherfucking nail, J Love. That's it. Fuck everybody else. That's my mentality. You gotta prove yourself to me. Anybody can say, people say stuff all the time. I love you. People use that word so loosely. I love you. I'm your friend. I'm there for you. Oh, please. I, I need to see it. Because I think people say things in, in just the moment. It feels good. They're having a good day. They'll just say something. Or they say something because they feel like that's what they feel, but. Later on, they realize, I don't really love this person. I just said that I, I felt good at the moment uh, about them. Or maybe sometimes you can say something to a person that can trigger them, that type of reaction. You know what I mean? You can just say something to encourage them and make them feel good in the moment. And, you know, as a, a reaction to something good that you've done for them, they may be having a good day or feeling good. And they may just say something out their mouth that they really don't mean. Actions. Just want to encourage you guys to don't jump the, the, the gun too fast. Don't jump the broom too fast. Don't start seeing a person as a friend until they show you their friend. Don't start feeling like a person love you until they show you they love you. That's a problem. We, we jump the, the broom too fast. We start making these assumptions way too fast, too early on. Oh, this person love me, their friend. That, have they proved that their friendship to you? What do you mean? Have they, have they, what makes them a friend? Other than them saying that they're your friend, have they showed you that they're your friend yet? Okay. Well, when things get bad for you, if they not there for you, then that's, that's, cause that's when you can determine who's a real friend. Not when things are going well, when they are going bad. That's when a person's true character rise to the surface that's when the cream of the crop rise to the surface that's when the true you rise to the surface your character shows in your darkest moments that's when your true character reveals itself that's when your true character is presented everybody can, can function when, when things are going well let's see how much of a friend you are when I lose everything let's see how, how, how dare for you you're going to be how dare for me you're going to be Let's see how supportive and reliable you're going to be. Let's see all that love shine and come through. I have people in my church tell me, oh, I love you. I care about you. I ain't been to church in a little while now. When they ain't called me yet. They ain't called me to check up on me. See if I'm okay. Ain't nothing. But you love me. Where's the love at? Ain't nobody called me. Ain't nobody asked about me. You know my phone number. Why haven't you stopped by? Why haven't you rung my phone? Why haven't even, you haven't even hit me up on Facebook. But you love. What love? That's not love. Because if you love me, you won't easily forget about me. I'm done. This is J Love 47. Peace. Again. Don't let people deceive you. Don't assume that everybody is your friend until they show you they are your friend.